cut the end off because it was too bent. Here's the end that's cut off. I cut that piece off right there. Grind it. That's what's gonna happen. Cutting the shuttle. Sometimes they need just a little bit of help. Okay, I cut the new piece and I drilled the hole. Drilled the hole there. And now I'm getting ready to set the trolley wheels on. You got it lined up. And then I got one Sawzall blade in between for a gap right there. So that way when I tighten, I'll have a little tiny bit of a gap right there, see? And we're gonna put this bracket on. This will be our first bracket for our trolley. All right, I'll show you what it looks like after welding. Okay, we got one side welded on. side of the trolley together for the wheels. This is the two trolleys on, the two trolley wheels, and that's the skirt. And I got a big backing plate for right here, then a backing plate for right here, because that's what's on that old one. I got the old one all bent up. See right here, it's got to hold that, and then I got to mount two of these brackets. Okay, the wheel's broken right there, but that's okay. It's not going to bother us a bit. I cut one of the ears off, it's right there. I'm gonna cut that ear off too. That way I don't have to drill it, it saves me that much time. And then we'll put them on our new shuttle, because this shuttle is just a little bit bent. Okay, both brackets are on, and that's for the, that's to make, hook that on right there. Both of them are on now. So all we have left for this shuttle is the two ends, for the plastic rubbers and uh, then drill the two holes for the uprights. For my feet, I mean my feet for my uprights, that's what these are. Let's do them. Just cut them, cut them all ground down and I'm ready to make my uprights go up and down, over and out. One upright. A little taller than it needs to be but we can cut it after I'm getting another foot ready for my next upright just looking for my pencil always losing my pencil <laughs> 